This isn't pearl based, but it's cool stuff. Um, do any of you put your computers to work in distributed computing? Um, show, higher show of hands. Uh, so 10, 15 percent of the people. Have you ever heard of BOINC? B O I N C. The idea. Uh, Stanford was one of the first ones. They have a cool site. BOINC is another. That's Berkeley. The idea is computers can simulate great stuff. You can do it with supercomputers, but if you don't have a supercomputer, but you know what you want to do, you tell the world, hey, can I use your computer and put the spare cycles you have on your machine to work? And, for example, what the Pandy Lab at Stanford is doing is modeling um, uh, how proteins fold. They break a big problem up, and let me just uh, slide this over. Um, Where's my screen? Oh, I guess if I come up here, I'll see what I'm doing. Where's my mouse? It's to the left. It's to the left? No, move it to the left. I've lost my mouse. I'm sorry. I mean, that's all right. And to the left. Uh, <laughs> right clicking something. You went? Right clicking something. Yep. Uh, well, there's a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm seeing is this uh, little Windows bare screen. I must have yes. like a... Yes. Move up and down. As if your screen is to the left of this screen. There it is. Try turning it Oh, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> so, uh, by modeling, they're doing research on a bunch of um, important uh, biological aspects in helping cure disease. This particular um, thing, by tapping into hundreds of thousands of computers out there and sampling a little bit over and over and over, um, they can start to really figure out, uh, based on their, their uh, modeling, what's happening. And this is all within one, I guess, nanosecond, which is a very long period of time to simulate. But if you have enough people out there cranking on their machines, you can start to put this stuff together and figure out what's really going on and get to the bottom of some really killer diseases. If you've got spare cycles in your machine, you just let the program um, use what you're not using while you're processing. People tend to start to uh, form teams. Maybe Pearl might have a team to show off how much processing power they have to uh, you know, get things done and measure it by how much your team, um, different simulations of team can do. So, folding.stanford.edu is one place that does it. Um, there are other sites. They model math, they model chemistry, they model lots of things now. If more and more the researchers are using processing power that people will make available from their computers, you know, for free, as it were, some real big advances can be accelerated by people giving their uh, computers over. So, that's it. Just wanted to point that out.